Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to official. I mean, not official Clarissa, but go go ahead, go subscribe over there. Official Clarissa, I be active all the time. Um, and I people be, I be posting videos. They like, why she got these call center um microphone headphones on, so y'all can hear me a little more better because I talk a low. Like I have like kind of like a low voice. So I can do a Q and A. Basically, it's going to be about, like, like just questions that y'all, like, you know, to make y'all feel a little comfortable with my channel. Um, so, y'all guys can um, like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned. I don't be active all the time. My apologies is just the fact that I be so busy with my other channel. And I've been going up rapidly over there, too. So, as well as over here, it's just I don't be posting. <laughs> They like why is she not posting nothing. My bad, that's my fault. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, just that's why I say that's why I say stay tuned, y'all. Don't get mad and unsubscribe. Cause I see it like I see this one person, it's one like one person that keep unsubscribing, and keep coming back. And I know y'all that y'all be mad, so tell you mad. Don't be mad at me. You can't be mad at me forever. Okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions. What it where is your favorite place to go on vacation? First of all, I never been nowhere. Um second of all, uh, I like I would want to travel. I travel around the city, you know, where I'm at already and I'm getting to know this area. You know, I really um don't know the area that much. I don't even know my hometown that much, but I still um, plan to go, you know, have my passport. I don't have a passport yet, but I'm, I wanted to go recently to get one, um, and um, I was going to travel. So, my location, I want to go. My favorite place, not my favorite place because I haven't been there yet, and I don't know, you know what I'm saying, the humidity and all that stuff, but... I want to go to this location called Bora Bora. It's like this island, and it looks so it looks so nice and clean. Like y'all, not saying like where we live at is dirty. I'm just saying like it looks good. Like it's like a beach. Like if y'all look it up, it's really good. Um, I'm gonna post a little video. Up. I mean, I post like some um, pictures up in here so y'all can see how it look. How many countries have you been to? Like I said, I haven't been nowhere. I, w I would like to travel. I will be traveling soon, though, because y'all have y'all did see um, Universal University Universal Studios. I don't know if some of y'all haven't seen that video, but um, I'll leave the video at the top where you guys can go check that out. And I went on Halloween. Um, Halloween's gonna come up because it's, it's August. So yeah, y'all. Um, how many? No, what is your favorite TV show? I don't have a specific TV show. I watch Adult Swim, so um, I'll be watching, like, anime, like, King of the Hill. I'll be watching what other shows? I used to watch regular show, but they don't show regular show anymore. Um, American Dad, uh, for, ter for Termula. I'm going to post all the little pictures in here, y'all, so... Um, yeah, uh, I just watch Adult Swim. I watch uh, South Park. South Park is like the best show ever on Comedy Central. So I watch that. My favorite character is Stan, the funniest character ever. Have you ever met a celebrity? No, not in person. But I believe I talked to one over the phone before. Like, I had text messaged them before. But, um... I forgot the celebrity person that I was talking to. Um, they like, uh, no, she didn't. Who's your favorite actor? Angelina Jolie, period. Because she created Magnificent. Um, it's this other girl uh, that I like, too. I, f I don't know her name. But she was in Wonder Woman. She had did that Wonder Woman where the dudes were shooting at her. She was like, choo, 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 choo. I like that one. So I like that that actor, the actor lady. She played good roles. She like she looked like another Angelina Jolie a little bit. Um, what was your favorite childhood toy? 
I never play with toys. I I don't play with toys, and I don't play with little boys. So, yeah, I don't have a favorite toy. No, I never play with Barbies. I'm not the type of person, you know what I'm saying, like, an imaginary world. I'm not the type of person, like, to play with toys. Because, like, every, okay, I'm going to be real with y'all. Every toy that I had that was a Barbie doll, I had broke it. I had, like, tore the head off. I had broke it to pieces. I don't know why I did, but I just did. And that's just me. How many shoes do you have? How am I supposed to know that? I have so many shoes. I'm going to do an estimate, though. I'll say about 11. Like, at least 11. So I have flip-flops and slippers, too. So I have a lot of... I have Nike. I have Jordans. Um, I have Crocs. I have uh, Prada shoes, the boots. I have those. And um, I have Uggs. I have the boot Uggs, the black ones with the little bow in the back. Um... Or the little, no, I have the one that has, like, the little uh, b um, button on there, and then it swoops around, and you put it on there like that. I have that one. I don't have the ribbon one, but I was I wanted to get one because I seen everybody with it. So, I'm the type of person. I used to be like that, but now I realize, like, it's not worth it. So, yeah, I have that one. And I have the shoes where you zip up in the front. It look kind of weird, but I like weird stuff. So, it looks like... It's like this big old boot, and it has like a little zipper in the front. I'm going to try to find, I'm going to try to put it in this video if I could. How many kids do you want? I want five to seven, but my partner wants three. He going to change his mind in the future. Um, What's the last movie you cried to? I haven't been watching no movies. Um, I think it was Hercules. What's the worst movie you you've ever seen? You've ever seen? Um, oh yeah, Monster House. That's my favorite movie. So I know I haven't got to that yet. But automatic, if I didn't get to it, this that that question. What's my favorite movie? My favorite movie is Monster House. I love that movie, and that movie made me cry too at the end. Um, but my wor our worst movie, um, not, I wouldn't say this is worse, but I said they could do a little better. Um, Simpson movie. They could have done a little better on that one because I figured that they didn't really put in a lot of effort that I wanted them to do because that was chasing, they was chasing uh, Homer. Like they had got trapped it was like this big old bowl. Some of y'all seen it. But it was like this big old little thing. And they put it over this little uh, little part of this the city. And they was trapped in there. And they were trying to dig out and stuff like that. So, they, I feel like they could have did a little better with that one. Because they, I don't, like the concept of it wasn't really based off like the, the episodes that we would be watching. So, I feel like they could have did a little better than that. Have you ever shot a gun? Why I want to know that, huh? What you gonna do? Yeah, I have. Uh, which movie did you watch last? Like I said, I've been watching movies like that, but a movie that I last watched. Um, I don't know. I forgot, y'all. Like I said, Hercules. Um. That was the last movie that I watched, Hercules. It was the 19... The one where the dude was telling a story. He was telling a story. Let me see if I can find it. He was telling a story to the people at the campfire. And um, I was trying to find the original one. 1997 one. Yeah. 1997. It's an hour and 29 minutes. So, it's the last movie that I was watching. I was watching that one. It's on Dubai. Um, do you enjoy roller coasters? Yes, I do. Um, I like the specific one. I don't know. I don't know if they still have it up, but it's um uh, at Six Flags. Uh, Scream. That one. I have no reaction to that one. No reaction. I just sit there. I just sit there through everything. 
But this um while well, I've been to Universal Studios and the one where um the mummy one, bro. That scared the crap out of me. I'm telling you. Uh, when y'all go to the video, I had it says the mummy escape. Uh, I was sitting there chilling, right? I was like, this is gonna be another, like another Harry Potter type of uh, thing, right? <sighs> I was like, what? That scared the crap out of me. That's why they say like health conditions and stuff. You can't get on a ride because I almost had a dang heart attack. They ain't freaking seizure, bro. Stuff was not crazy. Who is your celebrity crush? I don't have one. I don't have a celebrity crush at all. Um, Justin Bieber was. I ain't gonna lie. Baby, baby, baby. Uh. When I was in middle school, yes. But after I seen that video that he did recent, like 20, was it 2020? I seen that, 2021. I seen that video. Um, He was saying the N word. And I was like, that turned me all the way off because as he got older, he dyed his hair and stuff like that. He dyed his hair this color. He made that girl model, whatever. Um, but this was like, I stopped liking it. Like, because all these other artists start coming out. So I started to like, it started to go down. Like the interest rate, the interest rate went down with him. And he got married, whatever. He dyed his hair. And I was like, dang, he looked like rough. You know what I'm saying? Like he going through it. So... After I seen that, I was like, mm. Like, it went, like I said, it went down. Like, after all these other people came out with their songs and stuff like that, I was like, I wasn't really into him. But I was, uh, I had a, I had a celebrity crush. But he's not really a celebrity. He a rap artist. And his name was Quando Wando. I used to, uh, like him. I used to put him as my home screen, but not anymore. Um, I have me and my you know what I'm saying? I have them I have myself as my home screen or my dude as my home screen. So yeah, or both of us together. <laughs> so yeah, I really don't have a celebrity crush. Um Rihanna, that like I have inspirations, you know what I'm saying? Like Rihanna, um Beyonce, Sierra, you know my black women, you know what I'm saying? Like um my mixed women, you know, my melanin women. Um, Angelique Jolie is like my inspiration too, cause she a Gemini like me. So that's what's my zodiac sign, Gemini. Period. Talking about May Gemini to be precise. Um, which sport do you like the most? Basketball? No, 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 no. no. What is you saying? It's football. I like to. I like to. Um, I like um, tugging people and stuff. I like pushing them like that. Stuff like that. I like doing that type of stuff. But I play basketball with my dude before. So I like both. Like I like to watch I like to watch basketball. I, I like I like to play basketball because I played it with my dude like recently. But um I like football more. Like like if it was between basketball and football, I would pick football because I like to tackle people. There you go, that's the word tackle. I like tackling. Have you ever cheated? <laughs> I cheated on a test before. I don't think I, I never cheated. If I never cheated because we was never together. So what are you talking about? We wasn't together. No, I didn't cheat. Black don't crack. So what is your biggest fear? I don't have a fear. Cause we're all gonna die one day so I don't really have a fear you know what I'm saying like it is what it is at the end of the day like I don't have a fear my fear is God though because God could take everything away from me you know what I'm saying like if I don't realize what I have he sure could take it away so that's my biggest fear I could say you know that's why I say I don't that's why I don't act bad you know I don't I'm not on the naughty list no because I know what he could do, and I believe that there is a God there that could put me in my place. So, what's your favorite midnight snack? 
ice cream, cookies. My favorite is ice cream, though. So next, what's your pet peeve? I was just about to say this, y'all. I swear. My biggest pet peeve, my biggest ultimate is one. Is when I'm doing something and somebody bothers me. I do not like it. Don't bother me. Do not do that. Please. When I'm looking at a video, when I'm writing something down, when I'm in the zone or reading a book, listening to music, do not bother me. I'm going to be mad. When I'm going to sleep, don't bother me. When... Okay, so if you're trying to wake me up to, like, see a magic trick, like my sister be trying to wake me up to see a magic trick, does it look like I want to look at a magic trick right now? Does it look like it? Huh? No. Don't bother me. If it's something stupid like that, don't bother me. But if it's, like, if it's, like, you waking me up to, like, uh, help you with something or, like, I'm on trick. Like, oh, if you're getting me up to go somewhere, I won't trip. But if it's some stupidity stuff like that, do not bother me. Cause I was. Have you ever cheated on a test? <laughs> yes, I have cheated on a test. I right. <laughs> haven't cheated on nobody. I don't have exes. Like, no. What is a talent nobody knows you have? Burping. Well, no, people know. No, my dude know that I. Cause. He just know, okay, don't worry about it. But my talent is I could when okay, when I burp, I could say I could speak. Like I can't do it right now because hey. <laughs> I can't do it right now, but like I can say like if somebody asks me a question and I've been drinking like soda or something, I could say yep or okay. I could say it in a burpy type of sound. It's like weird, but I can say the ABCs too. I can say uh, at the farthest I've been is H. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Do you enjoy shopping at the mall or online? Online, because like I barely go to the mall in person anyway. We either go to the grocery store or Walmart, or something like that. We barely, you know, even go shopping. We always shop online too. So like we do, we use Instacart. If y'all didn't know Instacart, you guys can um shop groceries or like furniture, you know stuff. I don't know about furniture, but I know about like lamps and stuff like that, like home goods type energy, like. You could do that type of stuff on there, but people like they really don't shop for what you want because. Like, you put it, okay, like say, for instance, you want a specific bag of chips. Okay, so, like, spicy nacho Doritos, right? That's the main thing you want, right? But they get, you, they go shopping. They get everything else except for what you really wanted. And then you be mad because they don't know how to shop and they don't know how to go on the chip aisle. Like, oh, I can't find it. So, can I replace? Like, every store got some bag of chips, okay? You could just, like, replace it. Replace it with the regular not Doritos, party size. Like, y'all don't know how to shop. Like, but when I do it, I get everything for y'all. I, I be, when I click on what you want, when I click on that pat, batch, I get what y'all want. I find it. Y'all don't know how to find nothing. Dang. Coffee or tea? Coffee. That's a good one, because tea is good, too. But recently, I've been drinking more tea than coffee. That's a good a good question. Because if I could go to McDonald's and get a coffee over some tea, if, if my mama take me to go get McDonald's, uh, if I had an option to go get it right now, I would pick coffee over tea. But if we in our house and she said no, then I'll get the tea out of the cabinet. Okay, so do you miss most about being younger? What do I miss most about being younger is getting away with stuff that I like to do. Like, like I used to uh, be outside more. I used to... Um, Let's see what I miss most about being young. I used to get away with, like, most of the stuff. Like, I used to get away with it. Like, 
Um, what is the most trouble you've been in? The most tr- trouble I've been in was uh, stealing my um, some cake or some uh, pet pizza from my great grandma house. So you know, it's like they had the cake sitting out or the pie sitting out. So myself, I was hungry. I was trying to, I wasn't trying to wait on no pizza to get done out of the oven. I was just trying to wait on no food. I was hungry. So what I did was I went in the kitchen and I went to the cake. Soon as I try to open it, get your hand away from my goddamn cake. She doing. Touch my cake. And I was like, I can't get a piece. No. No. That's how she looked at No. So, I could say, yeah, that's the worst because I used to, st- okay, <laughs> the worst trouble, I never got into trouble with that situation, though. This situation, I'm going to tell you right now. So, basically, it was our last day over there at my grandma's apartments. So, it was this food truck we used to go to all the time after school if we go to our grandma's apartment. So, uh, we always ask from if we don't have money, we go ask my mom. I mean, yeah, we used to ask my mama, but she'd be at work most of the time. So we asked my dad or asked my grandmama or my uncles or stuff. So we used to get money. We used to go over there. So this was the last day. I'm going to go straight to it. So this was the last day, right? The grandmama of the, the food truck was upstairs. So um, we um, we told our dad, like, Cause it was our last day, and he was like right there. He was like, "Do you want to get something?" Else? We was like, "Yeah." So we had told him there was no lady there. The lady not there. He's like, "Go ahead, go get it." So we had got it, and like my brother was looking out. Like one of us was looking out to see if the lady was coming, because we trying to grab everything as much as we can before she come downstairs. So then she looked out. When I was looking, she looked out and was like, hey. And then we was like, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, grab everything. Come on, let's go, let's go. She going to come. So he's grabbing everything. We bumped out. My dad was bumping the music and his blazer. So, yep, that was fun. That's a fun thing I missed, too. Like, But not really. I didn't really. That was the only time I had ever stole something, though. So, what is your idea of a perfect day? Perfect day is being by myself like this. Nobody bothering me. You know what I'm saying? I'm in my own little zone. I could do a little video, nobody will bother me, like I said, and just listen to my music or read a book or look at a little article or something like that. So, um, what is your favorite, what was your favorite subject, what was your best subject in school? My best subject in school throughout the whole four years, I could say, was U.S. history, even though I didn't know what the hell they was talking about, I still got my work done. I always had an A+. Plus. Or a B plus. I always have my work done. So I took okay, so first I took US history, right? This was in tenth grade. Yeah, this was in tenth grade. So wait no 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 no. This was like tenth or eleven. It's one of those y'all know your comment in the comments. But US history, right? Um I didn't know what the heck they was talking about in these books because you know how they make up stuff, you know what I'm saying? Only slave the main thing about black folks in the US history books is slavery. That's the only thing. African American slavery. That's the only thing in the books about any type of black folks, right? So I'm just like, no, that's not us. We created we had black communities, we had um you know what I'm saying? We did hair outside. We always had a hustle. You know what I'm saying? They took it all away from us. Mississippi, that's why the long that's why that river is long like that cuz Mississippi was the main area that black communities were at. They had drowned it and flooded it. Thousands of people that had their own little house and community and they wanted to get rid of us. But look, I'm still here. You couldn't get rid of me though. I'm still here. Hmm. So what happened was my great grandma and mama's side had traveled all the way over here. And like it was like a three hour trip on a, in a car. It was like a long trip. And she came to LA in South Central. So that's where my parents met in South Central. And yeah, so boom. So yeah, some people did survive, some people didn't. And that's why the river is so long because of that. So 
I still pass with A plus. I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and just look at the little stories and oh, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, you know, on a five dollar bill, and then George Washington, the first president, da 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 da, and all those stuff. So yeah. But um, let me go ahead and if you could have dinner with anyone dead, who would it be? That's so weird. Um, if I could have any dinner with anybody, with anyone, with anybody, anybody, I'll probably sit with Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Out of everybody. Probably Tupac or um, Biggie. Pop Smoke, Nipsey Hussle, somebody, one of them. But with if I could have dinner with anybody alive, a famous person, I would do it with um, NBA Young Boy. But we're not together though, so we not no, we ain't going that way. Cause you got too many bad mamas, you gotta deal with all that. We can just sit down, have a dinner, and then I'ma go ahead and head out. I could pay for my own dinner. It's just like you know what I'm saying. It's just we chilling. But um, yeah, him, uh, Angelina Jolie, um, Rihanna, yeah. Um, who else I listen to? Cassie. Cassie, y'all know it's me and you. Now, I've been waiting. You got what I make a move. Now, she cute. She pretty. So, yeah. Angelina Jolie, yeah. All of the beautiful women. Brown skin girls. So, yeah. <coughs> so, anyway. Yeah. Uh... What can you tell everything to? Who can I tell everything to? I'll say my homegirl. My my homegirl, uh, my Kia. Shout out to my homegirl. Um, I can tell her everything, like, literally. She won't judge. I tell my other girl, homegirl, too, but, like, she's more the person that really doesn't understand the situation. Um, but I could tell her everything, like, how many people have you kissed in my whole entire life? Or with a person. She only kissed two people out my whole life. And I'm with one of them people right now. The other person, I left on red. Because I don't want to be with that person. So, yeah. And um, the past people I ever did date, we never got into contact, like, physically. Like, in the physical you know what I'm saying? Like, just sitting down having a conversation. We never got in. It was a distant relationship. I'm just put it like that. It was a distant relationship. So, it was nothing serious that much. We never touched no, nothing. I only did it with... I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> but I only kissed two people out of my whole life, too. Out of my whole life. Only kissed two people. But people kissed me, too. So... <laughs> How long would you last on a desert island? I will last for a month because I know how to survive. So if you don't have a jungle mentality, you ain't gonna last. Okay, you're not gonna last on a on a desert island. I know how to. I know how to. This is dry out here. Okay, so if I could walk uh, like two, three, four miles without no water, with a hoodie on, to I know how to survive. Stop playing with me. Hey. Would you rather be able to fly or be invisible? Be invisible. I know this. I know the automatic answer because I could still stuff. See, if it was strong and if it was strong and I could fly and be invisible, I would be strong and I could fly because I could just steal stuff and then go throughout the the ceiling. Period. So then nobody would be able to see who I am. How many pets do you want? Zero. Because I already deal with two all day. And it's too much stuff. If if I want kids, that's going to be an extra two or three. I don't know how much pets I could predict. I don't know. I can't predict the future. But I don't. Uh, that's going to be an extra. It's too much. Too much. 
But y'all like, what she do to her eyebrows? Y'all, it's something different. And I dyed my eyebrows blonde. I was doing my mama hair. And um, I'm going to show you a little video on this clip. And um, I was just dying it, seeing how it looked. It looked cute. But it's coming back to normal. It used to look like this type of, it, it used to be brighter than my, my like actual face. It used to be brighter than this. But it's going back to normal, though. And it looked cute still, so. Um... My bear, my most embarrassing memory is I'm gonna end it with this one. My most embarrassing memory at school was when I was in summer school, right? Y'all, mind you, I just graduated from middle school. So you know how you enter summer school at the new high school to get to know the location or whatever? So that's why I had did. And y'all. You know, like, you don't know when it's coming down for the women, okay? Y'all don't, y'all, we don't know, okay? We don't know when it comes down. Everybody had this episode. Everybody had to have this episode in school. Every, every female, okay? So, um, so I was, uh, walking. I'm gonna do a specific one because this happened to me, like, a couple times. I ain't gonna front because, I, like I said, I didn't know it was gonna come down. So, this was in 10th, this was in 10th grade, or, no, this was in 9th grade, y'all, right? Like I said, I was a freshman, so I was just, I just graduated from middle school. So, and, um, we was doing, um, what was the class? Uh, pre-calculate, no, pre-algebra, it was pre-algebra, it was like algebra, Pre-algebra one, it was like pre-algebra, pre-algebra, I mean, pre-algebra, algebra one, right? So, I was in there chilling, whatever, we was laughing, giggling. You know how, like, you had an assigned seat at the table? So, it's like, it's like four tables in there. And uh, we just chilling, you know, it's like a hot sunny day, got the AC on, da-da-da. So, I'm just chilling, and I just, like, feel some type of cramps, right, in my stomach. So, I'm like, what is this? Like, it don't feel right. So, I ignored it because I'm like, oh, it might come down, like, when I go home type energy, right? Because, like, I used to have, like, this happens recently. I have cramps, like, before my, my menstruation come. So, I'm like, okay, it might not be coming down. But I was still cautious. I was like, damn, it might come down, though, but I don't want to ask. Because I was the, the one, the type, like, I was, like, the class clown, like, laughing and giggling and stuff. But, like, I didn't want to ask the teacher to go to the bathroom because I was, like, scared for some reason. I, I just did not ask. Because, like, it was, like, these boys in there, right, too. And they was, like, the class clown clowns. Like, they was, like, the, the ones that was on top of the females, and it was like, that was coming for us and stuff like that. So we spoke up for ourselves. It's just the fact that I felt some type of way about it. And I really didn't want to ask for the bathroom. I was a shy person. So um, I had got up from the table and talked to the teacher or something, whatever. And then, like, something told me to, like, get up, right? So I got up. So I felt like, you know, like. My, I still had a like, little cramps or whatever. I'm thinking it's just like, you know, a little stomach ache, whatever. Got up, went to the um, teacher's desk. I sat back down. I looked behind me and I sat down. I was looking at this little boy. Like, this is this little dude. Like, his his name started with a T. I'm going to say his name started with a T. He, he had like this little curly hair or whatever. And he was like a mixed breed. So I sat down. I was looking back and I sat down because he was like looking at me or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck are you looking at? So I turned around. And everybody was staring at me at the table. I was like, what are you staring at? Like, why are you staring at me for? And I was like, what? Like, they were just staring at me for like two, three, four minutes. I'm like, what? What are you, like, what? And I'm just thinking to myself, like, oh, shoot. Probably my dang, but I'm like, in my head. I said that in my head. Like, dang, what? Like, did it come down or like, what? Well, like, so I'm looking like, and then they passed me a note. And it was like, boom, boom. And I was like, oh, it came down. <gasps> like, dang. So, I was like, damn. Like, I had to take off my sweater. I put it over my thing. 
And I was like, uh, dang, what do I do? And it was like, I tell the teacher to go to the bathroom or go to the nurse office. They was like, go to the nurse office. Everybody said, go to the nurse office. One of them said, go to the health, go to the um bathroom. The other one said, go to the health office. So I was at, I went to the health office. I was like, what is? Forget this. I'm going to leave y'all right here where y'all at because I don't want to be here any goddamn way. So I went to the health office. This, this one girl, um, her name started with an H. Um, they might be watching this video. I really don't give a damn if they're watching it, but... Um, we had went together to that because she said she wanted to come with me. So I guess like they want to get out the classroom. So I know what they was coming from, but I was like, oh, she just want to come to come with me out the classroom because she don't want to be there. So she came with me. We walked all the way over there, and um, yeah, I waited for my mama, and then I went home because I was embarrassed as hell. Like I'm not gonna go back to the class and act all like everything okay, and a dude just see me behind me staring at me already. My tushi, like, it's already big. Like, and then I got that, like, he, like, but he didn't look at like that, so. And then the one girl was like, oh, if the, the, because the class clowns, like, they always clown in a female. And then this happened to one of the girls that was in the classroom, too. Her name started with a Z. She had this little ponytail. And it happened to her before. They was kind of clowning her because it came down and they seen it. So, they was like, luckily, girl, he didn't see you. Like, had that down, she would he would have been clowning you, girl. Da, 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 da. And I was like, I would have been clowning him back, too. His brace face looking self. Like, I don't give a damn. Like, look. Okay, so, but anyway, yeah, so. And that was my dad. I was like, dang, mom came down. She was like, yep, it happened to me, too. It happened to a lot of people. Like, you know, like. I ain't the only one. That ha it probably happened worse to other people. Because I've seen, I seen movies where it happened kind of worse. Like, they stand up in front of the class. And they walk in front of the class. And like, oh, look, look. look. So, I know, y'all. It happens. And you don't know when it's coming down. So, I hope, like, this video gives y'all a little comfortability with me. Like, being on this channel. And give y'all the strength to go about y'all day and have a perfect day. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't worry about nobody talking about you, cyberbullying. Don't worry about them comments. People all ain't trying to tear you down. Like, you know, hopefully this day brights you up. And hopefully you're, I make your day a little better because I be, you know, I make myself laugh. You know what I'm saying? And I might do funny stuff to make people feel better. You know what I'm saying? And impress them because, like, once you tell somebody about your, like, how you experience this life, then they'll feel a little better about their life and what they've been through. So, yeah, y'all. So, stay tuned for my videos. And make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, Comment down below or like the video. Like this video to, like, 10. 10. Um, do 10 likes or 5. I don't know. But make sure you guys like this video. If y'all guys want to see more, like it up. So, if you're watching this video, like it up. Because I'm going to try to get a 5 to 10. 5 to 10 likes. And I'll do another Q&A. So, have a blessed day. Stay safe out there, y'all. And don't let nobody ruin y'all day. Especially y'all birthday. If it's y'all birthday, y'all watching this. Bye.